Well, hello, folks. Uh, good morning. It's about 1130 uh, local here in Hendersonville. This is a uh, wood-fired pizza oven that I built a couple years ago. It's a little tutorial of what I do. Um, it'll be a three or four part series um, just on the beginning stages, getting the fire started, um, getting the coal spread out, getting the, uh, the floor nice and hot, and then knowing when it's time to cook. Um, I went to the store this morning, got some uh, mixed hardwood. That's about $7 a piece. Uh, I won't use all that, but it, it'll take about two to three hours to get this thing hot enough. And you got to be real easy with it. This is a living, breathing oven. You don't want to superheat it and crack it. They do have little cracks in them anyway, but that's just pretty much just uh, normal. But you don't want to overdo it and then really put a crack in the in the um, the roof or the the oven chamber, I use this fat wood, which you can get from uh, Home Depot or Lowe's. I prefer Lowe's. Uh, this is the wood I took it, kind of cut it down a little bit. You light this stuff, you put it in with your. Uh, I don't know if you can see in there, but put it in there with your nest of wood. I've got a couple pieces of wood that are going front to back, then I've got them going left to right, and I put a bunch of uh, twigs and stuff. Um, you really don't need to do as much as that. I kind of like to burn just stuff around the area in the woods that have kind of fallen and died. And I'll put some wood on top. But I'll use these. I'll kind of put these in here. These will crank up. Uh, as soon as you light them, it burns like gas. And we'll get the fire going. I said, you know, again, we'll do it real slow. Um, so the way this thing's set up is um, there's a door normally right here. Um, I have that just as a cover, but the flue is actually here in front of the door goes up to this chimney So when it gets hot in there and what we want is about 900 to 1000 degrees and It takes like I said a series of uh, you know hours I normally give about three hours just to heat it slowly get to smell the wood all that You know, that's that's always great campfire type thing but um I'll get this thing going here in a few minutes using those pieces of wood. Again, slowly get the fire going, get a little hotter and hotter and hotter. Um, once the ceiling, once the oven chamber ceiling, it starts off black, you know, with soot, but then once it gets white, back looks like it's cleaned off, we know we're about 900 to 1,000 degrees, we're ready to go. But uh, just kind of show you, that's where I keep the wood. Um, just kind of show you around what we got here is... Um, a little path back here. Um, I've got a uh, that little chamber right here. Kind of opens and closes. I have a um, the floor has a uh, this kind of a drop catch. Uh, whenever I get done with the coals and stuff, I've got a grate in the back that's level with the floor, and I dump it. I just push the coals or the the soot or the I guess the ashes back, and it drops into this chamber right here and um you can see it a little bit better and then uh then when it's full i just pull this back and dump it right into here and i also i keep that open while i'm doing the pizzas and i can regulate um the heat a little bit with that but that just gives a good draw and helps uh so i normally keep that open pretty much the whole time but uh this is kind of the back side of it um this Oven has a uh, 2200 degree Fahrenheit uh, blanket over top of it. Um, actually built in on the roof there, right where it's rounded off. And that is on outside of the chamber, the oven chamber. And that just keeps excessive heat built up there. But um, but anyway, so that's kind of kind of that. Um, you can do bread in this oven. I've done up to. Uh, six loaves, Buell loaves at a time. Um, that's normally done after you do pizzas. The oven keeps it heat for a long time, and you know it gets up to 900,000 degrees. And then, and that's the ceiling of the, the um, oven chamber. And then, um, as the it comes down, you know, and you're getting ready to bake bread. See, when we do pizzas, we leave coals in there. We just push them to the back. But when we do, um, when we do bread we take those coals out push them to the back get rid of them and use residual heat 
as the heat starts coming down to about 500 then you start baking bread but anyway this is uh, phase one we're getting ready to light her off um, and I'll come back uh, uh, in just a few minutes. Bye-bye. Right,